When half a million Soviets invaded Finland on November 30th, 1939, they believed that taking the country would be an easy task and the perfect 60th birthday present for their leader, Joseph Stalin. Although Finland declared itself neutral during World War II, the USSR feared the Nazis could attack them through Finland as the country refused to push its borders away from the city of Leningrad. The invasion became known as the Winter War, which lasted for several months and was surprisingly challenging for the USSR. The USSR had 6,000 tanks and 3,000 airplanes, while Finland had just a few tanks and only 100 planes. However, the USSR had underestimated the smaller nation. One of the flaws in the strategy of the invading Soviets was the fact that their soldiers wore dark uniforms, making them easy targets for the sharpshooters. The Finnish soldiers wore white camouflage, which was more suitable for hiding in the snow than the enemy's black uniforms. The invasion caused a stir in the media as Finland was a neutral country. When images of airplanes dropping bombs on Finland reached the media, the Soviet foreign minister claimed that they were dropping food and supplies. The Soviets called the bombs drink to go with the food. Despite the Soviet power, the Finns had a weapon the Red Army could never have, Simo Heha, the White Death. Simo Heha is believed to have killed 542 Soviets during the Winter War and is considered the deadliest sniper in history. Years later, when someone asked if he regretted killing those people, he said, I only did what I was told to do as well as I could. Heha used an old-fashioned rifle, a humble weapon compared to the Soviets' firearms. He owned his M2830 rifle for many years before the war, and he enjoyed its reliability. Reportedly, the rifle didn't even have a telescopic sight. He was also aware that with temperatures dipping to negative 20 degrees during the winter in Finland, it could affect the gun, so he was careful with the maintenance. The accomplished sniper was not an intimidating person. He was a five-foot-tall farmer who was described as mild-mannered and unassuming. He only served the army during his mandatory year of military service. His hobbies included snow skiing, hunting, and shooting, which became valuable skills during the war. Heha claimed he was never scared and treated his job like hunting. His main concern was to make sure his weapon was stable and made sure feelings did not affect his work. The soldier had no problems being alone during the war and spent hours preparing his shooting positions and hiding from enemies. Growing up, Heha learned from his father to stay nearly 150 meters from his targets and how rain, wind, and snow could affect the shooting. During the night, he would visit his fire positions and prepare the location for the next day. Heha spent most of his life going on hunting trips into the woods, which gave him an advantage against his Soviet enemies. The sniper developed techniques to hide his location and use sounds, smoke, and artillery fire to cover his movements. Heha had an impressive memory and paid attention to the landscape shape, shadows, and tree trunks. If anything changed, it could be a sign that the Soviets had been there. Heha was an impressive soldier, and the Soviets were known to have feared him. He reportedly killed 25 enemies in one day. However, his most remarkable achievement was when, after killing a Soviet with a single shot, the Soviets attacked him with indirect fire and bombs. Heha escaped without a wound, but he wouldn't always be that lucky. Eventually, the Soviets won the Winter War, which lasted for 105 days. Heha is the most memorable name in that war, but he wasn't unstoppable. 98 days after it started, he was hit by an explosive bullet and was in a coma for a week. When he woke up, the war had finished. He survived, but had lasting facial scarring and remained in constant pain for years. Heha's skills as a sniper became legendary, but he didn't want to pursue fame. After the war ended, the retired soldier returned to his farm, where he preferred to stay alone. A friend once claimed that Simo spoke with animals in the forest more than the people around him. He became a famous moose hunter, and the Finnish president Uro Kikkonen even joined him on a hunting trip. Heha died in 2002 at age 96. Fittingly enough, he outlived the Soviet Union. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about military history are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.